This is a Lonely Bear 22 review here to bring you another vintage Beatemon review. And today I have a Battle Beatemon Union set. So basically, what these are, these are products uh, sold by Sona Kong um, that are Battle Beatemon related. Uh, they sell a jumble of Battle Beatemon products together in one single set, basically to save you the hassle of having to collect, you know, these different things separately. So it makes it easier if you just want to get a good solid Battle Beatemon set with everything you really need play the game so uh, right off the bat here on the box we take a quick look here we have a shot of the beatemon as well as the zero two armor so the battle beatemon is impact shark we have his owner jimby right there in the corner and we have on the side here a list of everything that comes in the set so you have the battle beatemon impact shark of course i just said that we have the dhb armor the standard uh, leveled up version, not the DHB Armored Advanced. So it's just a one hit, you're out deal going on there. So there we go. We have the DHB, I believe, yeah, the DHB Loader and One Handed Grip. And we have a little pack here that comes with some extra uh, strike shots. So, uh, some more stuff here Union Power, I guess that's just what the set's called. Uh, we have Sona Kong in the corner there, so it's a legit product. Um, on the top here, we have the Zero Two logo, we have the Strike Shot logo, and the Show logo. On the side, it's basically all really the same thing. About a, uh, another graph here of everything that comes in the set. Top is just more advertising, which is upside down. There you go. Probably doesn't mean anything to you anyway, because you probably can't read it, but oh well, there it is. And uh, same thing on the bottom. Yeah, same, basically, yeah, the same thing on every other side. So on the back here, we have a full shot of the Beatemon right there with everything, you know, slapped together. The DHB armor, all that stuff, you know, individually uh, shown off here. We have a graph showing off the impact shark. I'm saying show off a lot, aren't I? Oh, well. So stats for the impact shot. And stats for another strike shot, which I believe I don't know the name of it, but I know it come I know it comes with a updated version of Wing Sword, whose name I cannot remember off the top of my head. It's an extraordinarily rare beat on, so if I find him, I'll most likely review him. But uh, yeah. So other than that, we have Engie on the corner there, because I guess that's his. DHB armor that the set's using. Um, but yes. So, let's crack this puppy open and see what we got. Probably everything that's on the box, but you know, you can never be too sure. So, right off the bat, we have the Korean version of Impact Shark sold separately in its box here. So again, everything shows off here. I'll probably tackle each of these uh, products individually because there is so many of them and it takes me a while to give a good run through so there we have the one-handed grip as well as the beat ball loader which looks pretty vintage it's a pretty old box here I can tell this came from the first uh, line of beat on so that's pretty cool um, if it's a little blurry I'm sorry probably because they're off in the distance here we have the strike shots each. I really want to get that guy. He looks pretty cool. <laughs> and yeah. And what else do we have here? There's one more thing. Yep, of course. It'd be kind of disappointing if it didn't come with this. The DHB armor. So yes, um, that's pretty much everything that comes in the set. So uh, first up, we're pull there's probably going to be some multiple parts to this uh, review. But I will be tackling each of these products probably in their own video. So, yeah. So, first off, I will be reviewing Impact Shark. So, stay tuned for that review. Alright, so let's tackle Impact Shark first, the main attraction of the set. 
So on the box here, we have Impact Shark. We have his owner, Jimby. We have the Sonokong logo. We have the Zero Two logo, Strike Shot, and Impact Shot logo. Um, what else do we have here on this? Of course, on the side, got your standard graph showing you how to fire the blaster. We have, um, I guess, how this new trigger mechanism works. And we have the DHB Armor Advanced setup right here. But uh, we won't have that. We have the standard Zero Two Armor. Um, we have here a, I believe, yep, that's a graph of basically the game you can play. Uh, we have stats again for the impact shark, the impact shot, not shark, uh, right there for a normal beta ball, and we have a frontal profile shot of impact shark again. That's a really tiring word to say. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we have a image of the core which I believe is the striker core and we have uh, some armor pieces right there uh, so then again we have what the uh, core looks like without all the other arms and leg attachments there and that's pretty much it again more labels here uh, barcodes and stuff like that and that's pretty much it so as per usual, I will cut the video here, and I will be back with the fully assembled Beatmon, and we'll dive into an actual Beatmon review. Okay, so here we have Impact Shark, fully assembled. So as his name suggests, he has a sort of shark motif going on. Um, I do love the uh, main color scheme at the front here. We sort of have a dark navy blue. Can't really tell on the camera. It looks more like a black, but off camera it is like a uh, very deep blue. Um, sort of have a neon yellow going on here with his uh, certain highlights and his fins. So that looks pretty cool. We have his eyes here on the helmet. His teeth are his visor. So again, that looks really sweet. Um, sort of has a kind of a makeshift sort of accuracy barrel. It's not really an accuracy barrel, but uh, I guess it kind of is. I don't know. But yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty cool. Um, the only part of the color that I don't like is sort of at the back. Uh, it's kind of a jarring color. Um, we mainly have a set of white, uh, deep blue and neon yellow going on here, but on the back here we sort of have like a powdery purple and kind of a cherry red. Kind of looks off compared to the rest of the blaster. But, uh, you know, that's just minor nitpicking. Other than that, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's a phenomenal blaster really, actually. I'll get into that in a second, but... Um, yes, it is, it has great performance, the only downside is building this friggin' thing. That being said, uh, this core is incredibly difficult to build. Like, I thought Go Tiger was hard, his core, the short stroke core, I thought that was hard, but this, the, uh, striker core, this, this is a pain to build, trust me. Uh, on the inside here you have all these little mini springs and connector pieces that are just a pain to put together. Um... But yes, other than that, it's a it's a pretty decent core. It's it's worth the build, I think. Um, so this is uh, you know Impact Shark's main uh, set right here, his striker core and how it works. I will show you right now. So we have two beta balls. We have the strike shot, the strike shot, which is the impact shot, and a normal beta ball. So basically, how this core works is is you keep your uh, two thumbs on these little plates here. And then you put your two index fingers on these two red fins that protrude out the side of the core. And you can pull it back a bit. And you load it in like that. And basically what you do... Oh, let me focus that a bit better. There we go. So you pull the fins all the way back. And that's how it fires normally. It's not that much of a powerful shot. But, you know, regardless, it's an interesting way to fire the thing. So that's basically how it works. Load the beetle ball in, and it falls into the chamber, just like that. See, and it's a little finicky sometimes because, I don't know, something comes loose every once in a while, and you have to jimmy the uh, one of the fins to get it to work again, so that's the only offside, but it has been in, you know, it's been vintage for quite a while, so it probably would have been working a lot better in its prime when it first came out, but other than that. So that's uh, the uh, traditional way to fire the blaster. 
the uh, Impact Shark's main gimmick here is to pull this back fin all the way to the back until it locks in place, like so. And then you put the beetle ball inside and you pull these two fins backwards, causing this to uh, fly back inside the core. And it lets the beetle ball have it and it just fires it out at a really high velocity. So it's a pretty cool feature. Not meant for rapid fire, but it's all power. So again, that's pretty cool. So we'll do that again with the impact shot. So traditional way of firing, you just lock it in like that. And that went off to the right. That was really weird. But yes, there's the traditional way. And then we got the impact way. Really fast and powerful. Like this is a really powerful core. This is kind of, the kind of reminds me of the uh, Chrome uh, Chrome Raven Power Trigger. The only difference being is that, um, you know, you have it's a it's a little bit slower than the Power Trigger, but other than that, it's a lot more powerful. I think the Impact Shot itself is kind of the same as the Speed Shot from Chrome Raven Cyclone. It's a really light hollow plastic. Uh, I don't know, I could get a little bit of view on the detail, but I don't think the camera's going to zoom in that close, so that'll have to do for now. But, uh, yes, that's pretty much everything to Impact Shark. Pretty cool beat em on Again, I will let you know that uh, this core is extremely hard to build. Um, if you, you know, you will probably take about a good hour trying to assemble this. And it, it took me that long, but, you know, who knows, maybe... If you happen to get this, you might have better luck than I did, but for me, this was a really challenging core to build, so just keep that in mind if you're buying him. But, uh, yes, the stickers are really cool. I really like the stickers. Um, a few of them were dried up when I bought it, so I had to uh, manually attach them with uh, different types of glue that I had, which worked really well. Like, the stickers look like they were put on pretty well, so I'm not going to complain about that. It looks really nice. But yes, that is Impact Shark, and that also concludes part one of this Union Set unboxing. The next thing we'll be looking at will be the DHB armor, which is right there. And then we'll get down to the DHB loader and one-handed grip, as well as the extra B-Dama that come with it. So, stay tuned for part two, where we'll tackle the other products that have come in the Union Set.